Today, we're gonna to be unboxing the brand new Switch OLED, woo! But now, we're gonna go on a journey back in time to see how we got ours. Oh my God, what a morning! Like, seriously, like, oh. So last night, at about 11 p.m., had an email saying that Metroid Dread Collector's Edition is ready to pick up, but the Switch OLED, or the SWOLED, as we like to call it, uh, was not. So woke up this morning, was like, come on, it's got to be there by now. Nope. Waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. Nothing. And then I thought, I'm going to email the store. But the store has like a rubbish automated, you know, sort of phone number that you ring and it kind of just goes to all stores around the whole country because they've changed it. So I was like, oh, I can't even ring them. So I don't want to drive there for nothing and wait there for like six hours. And then I remembered about 20 years ago, I put the store's number into my phone and they've never changed it. So I just rang it and uh, somebody actually picked up and they said, yeah, we, we haven't had the delivery yet. And I was like, oh, okay, great. Like, when, when do you expect it? We have no idea. And so, uh, you know, <laughs> just had to wait like that. But now we've uh, clearly got confirmation that we can go pick it up. So that's what we're doing. Woo! And it's really, really busy. There's loads like, of cars. What is going on around here? Like seriously, like there's so many cars. Are they all coming to get a Switch OLED? Cause they, I doubt it. They better not be, but you know, we've, we've pre-ordered. It's fine, we've got one, we've got one. So I've read online that loads of people are kind of anti the Switch OLED. Right. So, I obviously you're a massive nerd I'm not because I just game and I like what I like and I don't what I don't and I don't really read up on anything but I did see that people are going on about this and I don't really get it to be honest yes it's a small upgrade but it's a pretty big upgrade for yeah I was gonna say like well I don't know like from my perspective it looks like yeah okay it might be a smallish upgrade but it's it's also a prominent upgrade like I saw it next to the old switch a lot of people are putting yeah, them yeah, next yeah. to the switches and I was like people are like, oh I can't even see the difference well <laughs> a it's a camera so how are you gonna see the difference for a camera through your own screen like duh <laughs> and second of all I could see the difference even through like the brightness and they were saying like the colors don't look different again awesome, how dude. can you see that it's OLED, it's like be... um so what else is it that's that's different like all right so screen aside we'll come back to that so the actual housing and body of the the switch is slightly different so the switch the kickstand is a massive upgrade instead of it being a little flimsy bit of plastic it's now an entire metal plate that spans the entire back of the system um, but the entire construction the plastic that's uh, been used apparently is slightly different as well um, because the original switch at least the 2017 switch which we've got uh, was brittle around the vents um sorry roundabout so some people's vents were cracking and stuff like that so they've changed the plastic it seems to be slightly more rugged mm. they've changed the power button design uh they've changed the the flap to put your game cartridges in didn't so, you like, say as well different. that they've put in uh like ethernet as well yeah that's in the dock Which on the is actual cool. yeah the actual system itself they've increased the rails uh, like stability when yeah. you put the Joy-Cons in so they don't wobble as much, supposedly. I mean, we'll find all this out in a minute when we yeah. uh, unbox it. We'll have a look. But, uh, yeah, they've added a Ethernet port to the dock. They've added an HDMI 2.0 to the dock, which can support 4K60. So um, that's obviously a future-proof thing. It's not actually happening anytime soon. It's still a 1080p60 system via the dock, but the dock can potentially put out 4K60 via the new um, HDMI controller that's in there. That's uh, cool. There's, there's a bunch of stuff, but basically it is bigger, so it's it's a little bit wider on either side, mm -hmm. and it's got a larger SD card, uh, sorry, not SD card, internal memory. So from 32 gig, it's now 64 gig. So they've doubled it, but obviously you've got the screen. So not only have they changed the screen from plastic to glass, which in itself is a huge upgrade, but they've also put in an OLED panel. So an OLED panel is, so much better in so many ways because they basically the, the pixels turn off for better contrast so if yeah. there's a black image on screen it's gonna look black yes yeah. and because 
the, the pixels are actually turned off, mm. whereas LCD screens have like big set panels of lights underneath, yeah. which can cause that sort of bleeding effect as mm. well as like a horrible grayish color instead of a black. Um, and it's just not very nice at all. But yeah, so it helps contrast by turning off the pixels and stuff like that. Um, and it should just look so much better. Again, OLED looks so much better, but OLED screens are faster as well. Essentially, there's less sort of blurring on the screen because the OLED screen is faster, essentially. So it will be crisper. It will be a crisper image just yeah. in general so there is quite a lot and the of screen upgrades. is is all the way up to the sides it's instead bigger. of yeah, it yeah. being you it's know. almost an entire inch larger yeah so it's um gone from 6.2 inches yeah. to seven inches which is a massive difference really so are you excited of course as you can see with my massive smile <laughs> and i bet um when you get it home you're gonna be like little boy at christmas again oh, of course because you just you know this is your kind of thing. You're the tech guy, you know. You like all the new bits and bobs, but you know, I'm not. I, you know, I don't know a lot about this, so this is going to be an interesting video to watch it be unboxed and kind of see <laughs> it. Because I've kind of, I kind of been avoiding it on purpose, really. I much rather make my own decision than yeah, yeah, go by what, I mean. what everybody else kind of says. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Oh. Okay, we are back. We are back in the studio. And I have the box for the SWOLED or the Switch OLED. Let's uh, like crack on with it, shall we? Because we've waited all this time, getting messed around, and it's here. Apparently it's number 21. Maybe it's the uh, 21st ever Switch OLED. Let's uh, crack on. Get my knife, safety first, people. So uh, that's, that's pretty tough. Remember to cut away from you not towards you. Don't want any accidents happening. A little bit excited, I'll tell you that. What is in here? Packaging, packaging, packaging. Loads of packaging. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, and a nice box. Look at that. That's Christina, not Puppy Power from Scooby-Doo. Well, straight away, the box is miles better than the previous Switch. Like, it's just so much nicer. It's a lot cleaner looking, like, it's a nicer shape. The design, like this, as, as a collector, where I've literally behind the camera here, got like a whole unit full of stuff and boxes and other stuff like that. Like, this just looks so much nicer to put on display rather than the ugly sort of, well, we've got the 2017 Switch. That box is a little bit ugly. In compared to something like this, this is way sleeker. It's the classic Nintendo Red. We've now got the Red Box Swoled. Um, it's really nice. I really like it. So uh, let's crack on and, and open it, shall we? Okay, so I want to be really careful with this box because I don't want to ruin it because I'm one of those guys. So. I heard that if you ever crinkle a box, yeah. that you can actually iron it. Yes, I think I've heard that. that. Yeah, I think I've heard of that before. I've never tried it because it sounds like crazy. It sounds like rubbish. Do you know what I mean? But loads of people have said it. Oh what? Okay, I'm opening it the wrong oh. way around. I'm opening it the wrong way around. I should we? Told you that. Should we open it this way so you can see on the camera nicer? Are you nice and centered? And oh, look at that! Right, and that's it. We've unboxed it. <laughs> Let's have a look at the Joy-Cons first, shall we? Which are the Metroid Dread official, uh, you know, special edition. Well, come on, it basically is, isn't it? It's basically Emmy colors. That's a really nice white. I think it's like, it reminds me of Star Wars, actually. The Vegas. Yeah, it's a bit Stormtrooper-esque, but we're talking about, you know, Metroid Dread releasing on the same day as the Switch OLED. You know, the Emmy are, you know, they're, they're white. It's a Metroid edition, it's not a Stormtrooper edition, but you know, I, I still love Stormtroopers, so there's there's that positive, I suppose. But let's have a look, shall we? I'll bring them up to the top camera so you can see them a little bit better. Let's hopefully not drop them. So there we go. Ooh, look at that. Nice. And obviously these are no different than normal Joy-Cons. 
So they are just white Joy-Cons. You're not really gonna see any change here. I don't think they've changed anything on these at all. Your old Joy-Cons will still work with the Switch OLED, as will these. They will work on the older Switches, but obviously not the Switch Lite in terms of connecting like this, but you can connect them wirelessly. Uh, but yeah, very nice looking Joy-Cons right there. Let's put those to the side. Now we have the main shebang. They're kind of just getting straight on with it, aren't they? They're like, bam, there you go. Yeah, you don't want to mess around. Oh, it feels good. Like the it weight. It feels just like it should. It does feel just like it should. But it feels a bit more weighty. I think it is heavier than the, the original Switch, but only by a very small margin. Let's try not to get Dorito fingers all over the screen, shall we? So, um, I mean, I know she's sat over there, which is Christina's other nickname there. Dorito fingers. And I've already put a thumbprint on it. Great. But basically, it's black and you can't see anything at all. There's, there's a light. There's a big light. A really big light and a really nice looking screen. But if you notice, the screen is actually black. At the end of this video, I will grab my other switch. So just show you the screen difference whilst it's off, but make sure to subscribe because we have so many videos planned to cover the differences between the switch and the original switch and the switch OLED and the switch light and all that stuff. So make sure you uh, subscribe to see more about this. But the actual thing itself feels so much nicer, like the plastic. Like, I don't know how well you're gonna see that on the uh, camera there, on the top, but it's almost like a nice mat mattified plastic. You're giving me ASMR. Oh, wait, right shh, shh. Oh, it's really there good. There you go. No, do, do it again, like I want a bit more. Wait, I've got to tell you about something. It's Pete's secret. Pete is a massive ASMR fan. There you go. So that's um, 128KB's ASMR Fest. I really enjoyed that, yeah. actually. Yeah, did you? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the actual feel of the plastic is a lot nicer than the other one. It, it just feels a little bit sturdier. That's all I can say, really. It feels a bit sturdier. And of course, we have this kickstand right here, which feels cold to the touch. And that's because I believe it's actually metal. Oh, that's so uh, nice and stiff. Does it just literally like ping open? We'll oh, find wow. out if not. Like I just, oh, hey. it like clicks in. Oh man, this is amazing. Look at those hinges. What the hell? Okay, this is totally different than what I was expecting. Look at the hinges. Can you see this? Let's, let's do it this way because you'll probably see it a bit better. Look at that. There's a full blown arm and it actually properly solidly locks in there. So you actually have to flick it out. Probably be easier laying it down and then doing it with two hands. But that arm there, look, you've got proper hinges going on rather than just that little flimsy bit of plastic that clicked in and out. And that's how this can stay at pretty much any angle that you choose. And no matter how you do it, it's just gonna stay there. It's not gonna change, you know, it's pretty solid. It's not just going to give way. So it's quite smooth as well. It's really smooth, like super duper smooth. But I just can't get over how hench these hinges are. Like, look at the hinges on that. Hence the name Swole. <laughs> Swoled, yeah, exactly. It is Swole. And I really like the fact that they've hidden the all the rubbish underneath here. Look how much nicer that looks. I don't know which screen you can see this on, but it's such a nice design in comparison. Like they've actually thought about style rather than just kind of slapping on all the information on the back, which is exactly what happened to the other one. And we also have three screws just here alongside rather than the five that I believe are on the, on the original switch. So if we slide the Joy-Con on, ooh. should we go for another one? Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, there's so much like little wiggle in comparison to the other one. So our 2017 Switch has got like much more play on where the Joy-Cons actually attach to the system. But this one feels a lot more rugged. And again, that, that screen, I am just putting my fingers all over it. I'm gonna have to like clean it, but it is glass this time. Whereas the original one is plastic and it's just so much nicer looking. Just looks so good. 
like in comparison to the original. I will go and get my original in a second just so that you can see it because the difference is so much nicer. Like all round, even like on the base and stuff like that. I don't know how well that's gonna show, but it just looks a lot cleaner. The design of it in total, like where the vents are, the power button, just looks so much better. But I have seen some people complaining about this, which is the card slot. So some people have been complaining that it's harder to open. I mean, I don't know about that. I kind of I kind of understand. So on the top down here, if you look at this, I'll shut it. There is a little groove there. But you need nails. For you it. you need nails. And as somebody that used to bite their nails for like 20 years, and I probably stopped about 10 years ago. Let me um, try. Let me try with my nails. Ready? Hang on. Ready? Bring bring it over. Christina's got. Oh, she's gonna ruin it. Yeah. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> yeah. If you have if you have long nails or really short nails, it could be difficult. Yeah. So Christina's got like massive nails. Uh, it's not gonna happen. If you've got no nails, it's probably not gonna happen either. But there is like if you had a guitar pick, like a plectrum, you could get that in there. Uh, for me, that has like normal size nails, I find it to be perfect. To be honest, it's a lot nicer looking as well than the other one. Um, where it says game card. But in total, the whole thing just feels and looks so much nicer. Like, I can't stress enough. Again, you're not gonna see exactly how good this looks until you see it in person, especially when you see it in comparison with the other switches that are available. So obviously make sure to stick around because there's so many of those videos coming soon. But just first impressions of just holding it without even turning it on and actually seeing the screen, which we will, will do in a second, it just feels so much nicer all around. It just feels a bit more rugged. It feels like a premium version of a Switch, which is exactly what it is. It is just a premium version of what we've already got, but with a screen that's 10 times better the overall design is just nicer. It just feels like everything's more premium. And one thing that I really like is the fact that the speakers, if you could see them on the camera, I'm not sure if you will, the speakers are actually on sort of the beveled edge of the device rather than on the bottom of the screen, which they used to be. So like the screen ends and then it's actually on the corner here, which is really, really nice because that means when you put a screen protector on there, you don't have to kind of like get it around all the grooves and notches. It's just straight screen that you're gonna stick that protector on. Um, I really like that. And obviously this has got enhanced audio as well. So this, the speakers themselves should be a lot better. But I mean, overall, it doesn't feel bigger than a previous Switch. Like, you know, I haven't obviously got my other one here right now. It's literally just over there. But having this in my hands, I don't go, oh my God, it feels massive in comparison because it's only like a really small amount bigger, but... Would you like me to get it for Yeah, I think that would be great. Let's awesome. Let's uh, have this and well, turn glamorous it off. Assistant. We still haven't unboxed everything yet, so uh, we will come back to that. But just in comparison, the one thing I'm noticing is the actual facia of the screen, because it's covered in glass, next to that is also gloss. So this black strip that covers the entire face of the Switch is gloss. Whereas on the original Switch, that's actually matte plastic. So all the way around the edge, so if I bring it down a bit, if it focuses, all the way around the edge, you can probably see that that light is causing a reflection around that edge. So the original Switch isn't like that at all. But anyway, let's uh, just see what else we get inside the box first. We'll come back to this Switch here in a minute. I'm getting carried away because I've seen the actual Switch now. I'm all excited and uh, I forgot that we've still got the stuff in the box that we, we haven't seen yet. We don't care about the rest of the stuff. Uh, I kind of do. I kind of do. Ooh, look. Ooh. Power supply. It's my favorite part. Okay, we have what looks to be uh, the same power supply as always, which we have so many of here. Uh, we also have the new HDMI cable. And I've just read that they've made it not as stiff. So it's actually a lot floppier, as you can see on the top down. It's really, really soft and supple in comparison 
to the previous one, which was really quite firm and it was really hard to cable manage behind our TV. I will say that. It's not going to go sticky though, is it? No, it's not a sticky rubber. No, it feels it is rubber, but it feels like a nice rubber to be honest. And as far as I'm aware, this is actually uh, an HDMI 2.0 cable, which is uh, capable of 4K 60, but obviously the switch doesn't support that, but the dock does, which we will see in a minute. So that's actually quite a nice addition is that different HDMI cable. The one that we've got currently is really stiff and the ends as well are a bit bigger than this. They're a bit chunkier. So this is actually quite, quite nice to see is a, a better HDMI cable. And I believe they've changed something else as well. So I'll put this to the side. So this is another change, is the actual straps. So the Joy-Con straps, if I can get it out. Yeah, there's one. And what about the next one? So the Joy-Con straps, they've changed the design. And by changing the design, let's flip to the top ca camera, is actually they've added speckles. Looks like paracord. Yes, it kind of does, doesn't it? But it's actually black with white speckles in. And I kind of like that because of the, you know, the switch design, it's white and black. So they've added white and black cords that actually feel quite nice. I think they're longer as well. I think they're quite considerably longer in comparison to the original because uh, I don't remember them being that length before. Da -da -da -da. It's just the classic. Oh, I actually think they've changed this as well compared to the 2017 model. It's got like almost, it's plastic, but it's really smooth. And this is the Joy-Con grip, but that feels really, really smooth. Like, like almost as if it's been sanded down really well, if that makes sense. So instead of it being straight gloss, it's actually just Really nice, I can't really explain it. Other I'll get than that. the other one for you, I'll get the other one. The difference is quite striking. I don't know if that will show on camera, but you can see that this is like hyper polished from being in our hands, but we haven't actually used this massively. Like we don't use it very often because we've got like dedicated pro controllers. And you can see it's really grubby in the cracks. You, you can see it's grubby, <laughs> but that's Dorito fingers over there. But it is like slightly different. This is smoother for sure. But the rest of it looks pretty much exactly the same. And then the last thing in the box is going to be the dock. Ooh. So this is the new dock. And what I really like about it is that it's white like our PlayStation 5. <laughs> Showing off now. Because that's going to look really nice together. And there we go. That's so much sleeker. The design is much nicer. We are going to do a comparison video to compare it against the original Switch and the dock as well. But straight away, that's what I've noticed. Really large rubber sort of base there. So that's gonna be great for not slipping around, which is gonna be brilliant. It's, it's really quite simple, to be honest, but I quite like that. It's really sort of minimalistic in design. You've got that gloss white Switch logo just there. The rest of it is just nice and sort of, I don't know, it's kind of matte. It's not going to pick up fingerprints. Obviously the glossy bit would, but why would you be touching that? I like the, I like the inside. I was glossy just bit. about to say that inside of it is actually gloss, um, which is different. The other one wasn't. But I will say we do have a video coming really soon, so make sure you're subscribed to basically guarantee this method works 100% of the time, every time, that you're never gonna scratch your new screen, which is exactly what you don't wanna do on the Switch OLED. So obviously being glass, it should be a bit more resistant to scratches than the previous Switch, which is a plastic screen, but you still don't wanna scratch it. So stay tuned, because we've got a hack to basically modify, DIY, upgrade your dock for super cheap, which will guarantee you're never gonna scratch your screen again. So stay around for that one. But yeah, the actual dock is glossy on the inside and it's nice. Like it, it looks more premium, doesn't it? With that design, the white and the black. And then flipping over to the back, we've obviously got a little Nintendo logo on there. Um, and then this actually just pops off instead of like bends open. So the other one had like hinges. So that just clicks in. And in the other one, you kind of hinged it out 
and it was on hinges and it flapped around and it was really annoying and you'd get dust all in the hinges and all that stuff. Not anymore, you just pull that away. So many people are probably gonna be happy and just get rid of this or leave it in the box. If you are thinking of not using this, just keep it in the switch box if you keep boxes like me. Um, and then you can easily access all your ports and stuff at all times. I'm pretty much just gonna plug it in and then leave that on there like that. But to be fair, it could possibly give you better airflow by just leaving it off. I can't really see it making much of a difference because there's a lot of air that can get through the top here and even in this cable management hole. It might help stop dust a little bit. Yeah, it will help dust um, by keeping this on. I really like this because that's going to help with cable management because the other one you were just locked with like a hole on the edge and that really annoyed me because certain uh, cables were coming out at different angles and it just kind of got annoying. So this having that sort of like half, I don't know, like a semicircle piece cut out, it's actually quite a nice design choice and it just looks nicer. And then on the inside is exactly the same as always, but there is a catch. We've got a uh, USB-C AC adapter just there. We've got our HDMI out which is obviously a, um, a HDMI 2.0, which is 4K60 up to, so they future-proof the docked. So maybe one day when they create a Switch Pro, maybe these docks will be utilized. Probably not. I think they just did it because they could. And then we have a LAN Ethernet RJ45 port down in the bottom there, which you probably won't really see on the camera because of the light. Um, but basically there is a LAN port just there. Uh, and yeah, just in there. So instead of using the switch's Wi-Fi, you can now actually plug in an ethernet cable directly into this and have direct internet, never have to worry about dropouts or anything like that really. But yeah, that's the, uh, the dock. It looks so much nicer, it really does. I'm gonna keep that out because we are gonna be using it. I'm gonna completely replace everything that the uh, original came with. If you're on the fence about buying the Switch OLED, then you know there's a couple reasons why you want to do so. If you're like us and you have the original 2017 Switch, or maybe you don't have a Switch at all. Other than that, it's pretty much identical. However, however I will say, without even turning this on yet, I know the screen is going to be so much better. But going top down, better in mind that these probably have fingerprint marks all over them. Look at that bottom screen there, which is the Switch, the 2017 OG Switch. Do you see how it's a different color? Whereas the one on the top is entirely black. So the screens themselves are different material. So even without the light shining on it, you can see here, look, that this is a different color. So if I take it away from the light, because the light is coming from that way, um, if I turn it, there you go. So even without light on it, this is black and this is not. This has got like a gray color to it. And that is because of the screen is totally different. It's an LCD screen, it's dropped behind plastic. Um, whereas this one is an OLED screen pushed right up against the glass screen rather than having a gap in between both. Wow. Whoa, the audio is so much better. And loads of other people were saying that the audio wasn't noticeable. Like what? That is so much nicer already. Okay, fine. So let's go English. Whoa, the audio, man. Sounds really nice through the headphones. Whoa, the audio is insane. Sounds clean. I can't see how people were like, just saying I can't notice the difference between the audio. Like straight away I can tell that. I know I'm a little bit of an audiophile. You know, I studied music at university and all that stuff, but I'm not a techie, I'm a performer. So, I'm not knowing the like ins and outs of everything, but straight away, just from my ear, it sounds so much better. Stick around for our other videos to see the differences between these where you're gonna see gameplay and loads of other stuff. This has literally just been an unboxing. We're going to be doing a comparison between both the 2017 Switch and the Switch Lite. So stick around for those as well. Obviously Metroid Dread just launched. We're gonna be unboxing that one in a minute as well. So make sure to subscribe to 128kb.co.uk is our website at least. So go there and check out for loads of good games gaming and tech stuff and you can find us on the channel here and on Spotify and all that good stuff for our podcast but anyway that's been our unboxing of the Nintendo Switch OLED stick around for gameplay footage because there's so much coming your way soon but for us that's it Christina Woo! and I are off one two one KB <laughs>